for snowshoe hares has greatly increased over the last five years. They're limited largely because they're habitat specialists. Starting last month, we started deploying our GPS collars, and these collars are able to collect data on the hares' locations every 20 minutes. We can monitor what conditions are most ideal for snowshoe hares, how hares respond to habitat treatments. But likely this decline was caused by a decrease in suitable habitats throughout the Commonwealth. Of all the snowshoe hares that she captured during her study, she in fact caught three snowshoe hares in winter that were almost completely brown, which has not been documented in Pennsylvania before. And the ultimate goal of this project is to learn more about the dynamics of snowshoe hares in the state. So then in the future, the Game Commission can adapt their management plans in order to create habitats that will sustain the snowshoe hare populations. The more that we understand about where we have snowshoe hares, the better we can direct our habitat management practices.